Are you ready to be a leader of God? Your assertion remains suspicious until confirmed by real situations like trials and temptations. Let's see what happened to our Lord in the beginning of his ministry on earth. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4, Then Jesus was led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. You can't wake up one morning and say to yourself, I will go to the desert to be tested. Someone must lead you there, as was done with Jesus. Also read in the book of Hebrews of what Jesus did during the difficulties of his temptation. The Bible says in Hebrews 5, 7 through 9, In the days of his flesh he offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his piety. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from the things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became to all those who obey him the source of eternal salvation. When God leads you to a place of battle, you will fight and defeat your enemy because he already did. Remember as Christ's leader, Yesterday was error, today is decision, tomorrow the result. When Joseph found himself in temptation while in Potiphar's house, he was given the option to sleep with his master's wife or be faithful to God. But he knew his real value. He did not fall into temptation with Potiphar's wife. He chose to obey God and he ended up in prison. Being a man of vision, he said to himself, This is not where I belong. I know my real value. When you believe your dream, your dream shall come to pass, and you shall be a man of vision. And if you are a man of vision, no matter how difficult the obstacles are on your way, you can never be stopped. After the test of faith comes promotion, because trials and persecutions are the soil where faith flourishes. Jesus Christ will not receive your prayer request until he sees in you a willing servant and a faithful follower, a man with great perception. This is the reason why, as Christians, we must embrace the word as the most effective instrument for change. Remember, anything close to the throne will receive attack. Do not be afraid because Jesus gave us a plan of how to defeat Satan, as referenced in Matthew 4, 1-11. By continuing walking with Jesus, you will learn that trials and tribulations make you stronger, not weaker, because you received blessings from them. In order to keep yourself under his presence, you must learn that a humble person is someone who depends on God for everything, knowing that he will justify you, support you, and protect you. Jesus will never give you anything that is not necessary for your life. Whatever he gives you is to improve your relationship with him. When you are where God places you, he will speak strength and courage through your trials. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ was accessible and very available. Therefore, keep running the straight race through God's grace. God's vision for your life is to make you someone who is unique and not a copy of someone else. What God has for you is unique. The time he has to give it to you is unique. And the way he chooses to give it to you is unique. Jesus never hid the weaknesses of his people. If your heart is ready to approach him, remember, you can only approach God from the inside, not from the outside. Those leaders in the Bible who arrived close to God faced significant challenges, such as the woman with the issue of blood, and Bartimaeus, and many others. God's word refreshes our mind, and God's spirit renews our strength. This means not only must you have God's word to be a Christian leader, you must also have God's spirit. If you have God's word without God's spirit, then you only become a philosopher in the house of God. If God is with you, he is going to give you a prophetic image, a vision for the future that you desire to have, not the future that you fear. And you will laugh as a victor, not as a victim. You will also talk as an overcomer. The Bible says in Psalm 23, 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The level of your words and your thoughts determine who you are. You must be careful of what you say because you cannot live above your words. What you say is what you are. Author's advice, prepare yourself as Christ's leader to be a tomorrow thinker.
This teaching is also available on a website at www.zavlarisministries.org under Sermons, Biblical Messages. You can take notes and read it at your own pace. Stay blessed, Apostle John Zavlaris.